Hello. My name is Ellen, and I'm currently fundraising for the Mekong Earth and Forest Fund. I have a question for you. Do you know what your food actually looks like in nature or in some natural form? Do you know how peanuts are grown? Do you know about lotus seeds? So I did a quick survey of my team and realized that a lot of them didn't know that peanuts pods are actually grown underneath the ground and that farmers pull them out just like they do with carrots. Or that lotus flowers grows in muddy water. You can use the lotus flower for tea. You can use the stem, the seed, the roots for food. And you can use the leaves to transport this food. So we all consume food, but we have disconnected from the farms on which they are grown. And with this disconnection, when there is no connection, there is no gratitude. There's no gratitude for the flowers and the pollinators. There's no gratitude for the farmers and their families. There's no gratitude for the soil and the microorganisms. Currently, farming practices in Southeast Asia is very extractive. We take the nutrients from the ground and we replace it with chemical fertilizers. We use pesticide to kill off insects and all living things in the soil. So this is a system where we kill things to grow things. And in, in, and in this interconnected system that we are in, Soil health is directly connected to our health. So the Mekong Earth and Forest Fund choose to restore ecosystems and support vulnerable communities through soil regeneration. And we do that by supporting farmers who choose to farm regeneratively, farming practices that work with nature and not against nature, farming practices that use less chemicals, that create more life, because in the end, regeneration is about creating more life. So there's been decades of research and studies to show that regenerative agriculture can increase profit for farmers, at the same time, increase climate resilience, and hence decrease the risk for farmers. Yet on the ground, they are still very resistant to make the transition to regenerative agriculture. Because the transition requires time and patience, access to credit, access to knowledge, access to the best practices. And there is an unequal opportunity gap for smallholder farmers. And this is where the Mekong Earth and Forest Fund choose to support smallholders farmers to make the transition to regenerative agriculture. So what does that business models look like on the ground in the Mekong region where we support? They include mangrove systems along with aquaculture, incentivizing the local people to protect mangroves and restore mangroves by giving them another source of income. Shrimps, crabs, fish. There's biochar technology, where biochar have been proven to increase the soil health and hence increase yield for the farmers at the same time reducing cost. And in the process of producing biochar and putting them in the ground, we have locked away carbons for hundreds of years. There's other well-known uh, systems such as aquaforestry, seaweed farming, vermicompost. And through these investments, Mekong Earth and Forest Fund's ultimate objective is to change mindsets. The mindset that investing in soil regeneration and farmers are very high risk. We are demonstrating that it makes economic sense and that it is necessary for a future where food is secured for the growing population. And at the same time, we create healthier plants, healthier animals, healthier human beings. So if you are just as passionate about soil regeneration 
and supporting our farmers as we are, I would love to talk to you today. Thank you. Thank you.